Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on Module 4, Lesson Number 9, and we're going to be decomposing angles using pattern blocks. Again, this is a, a project that is maybe a little easier uh, for some of you to do in your actual book with paper than it'll be for me on video. So I just ask for your patience as we work with uh, what we have uh, in terms of recording these videos, which is on the iPads. So let's take a look at a couple of problems you're working on today. Let's take a look at problem number one. Problem number one asks us to sketch two different ways to compose the given angles using two or more pattern blocks. Write an additional sentence to show how you compose the given angle. So we're gonna, we were told in number one that points A, B, and C form a straight line right here, A, B, and C, and that that's 180 degrees, which makes sense, right? And so we have to figure out what, which of our pattern blocks could we use to compose um, this angle. So if we wanted to add up to 180 degrees, well, the first thing that occurs to me, the most obvious one that occurs to me, is that we could use a couple of squares, right? Because a square, if we did a square like that, that would be 90 degrees. And if we did another square right next to it, that would be another 90 degrees. So each of these squares, we'll put in the little corner blocks, right, to indicate that they're squares. Each of these squares, that would be 90 degrees plus 90 degrees, would equal 180. So now we have to come up with another way of doing it. So, let's see. One of the other ways we could do it, maybe, is, let's see. Well, I'm thinking we could do a several different triangles, right? One, two, three triangles would add up to 180 degrees, too. So let's see. So that would look like this. We would have a triangle here with a 60 degree measure, and we'd have another triangle here with a 60 degree measure, and then we'd have a third triangle over here with a 60 degree measure. So that would be 60 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 60 degrees would be another way that we could use, uh, in this case, our triangles and add up to 180 degrees all the way around. Awesome. Let's take a look at another problem. Problem number four asks us to do the same thing, but this time we're going to do a much more complicated angle, 270 degrees. That is, it's not this, which is 90 degrees, it's this, the angle, the 270 degrees. Now again, I've copied in down here the, uh, the various pattern blocks that we had available on the page one of the homework, just for reference here. And again, it seems to me like the easiest way to think about this is that we could draw squares, right? So that's square here, a square here, and a square here. I have to write down below that this is 90 degrees plus 90 degrees plus whoop, 90 degrees, that that would add up to 270 degrees. That seems like the easiest way. But hey, we're not here to do the easy stuff. Let's try to figure out the most difficult versions of this. Hmm. Well, let's see. If I look down at my pattern blocks, I try to find a couple of numbers that add up to 270. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, you know what I notice? Look at this. Look at these two angles right next to each other. 150 plus 120. That, let's see, 150 plus 120, that would be 270 degrees. So let's see, now i got to figure out how to draw this. And this one's going to be difficult. So we have to draw this hexagon. Let's see. So that's going to have, let's see, 120 degrees. So, uh, 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 uh. That's one way of doing it. Oh, boy, I've done it in the wrong place. Let's see. I'm going to have to erase that. It's a good example. Because I need to start right here at this line, right? I need to start over here. So let's see. I'm going to draw it, let's see, 120 degrees. Then be about here, right? And then here. And then here. Here, here, here. Something like that, right? Where each of these would be 120 degrees. And then the other one that we have is the 150 degrees down here. So that's a real complicated one too, right? So that one says that this would be 150 degrees, and then we'd have some very sharp angles coming out of that. So it'd be something like this, right? Where these, where this angle right here is 150 degrees. So 120 degrees plus 150 degrees. 
and I'm going to blow this whole thing up here. Um, oops. If we blow up this whole area, this is 150 right here, and these corner ones are just 30. 30. This is 150, right? That's what matches uh, this particular uh, object over here. So let's see. Let's take a look. We'll shrink that back down and see if we got what we need. Yeah, so I think if we put a hexagon over here to use up 120 degrees, and then we put this odd-looking sort of uh, parallelogram to use up another 150 degrees, that those two would add up to be 270 degrees. So that's another way that we can pro solve problem number four. So I hope this has been helpful. It gives us a couple of different ways of solving each of these problems, and I hope you have good luck on your homework. Join me again next time in Mr. Conyan's Problems.